And this is going to be part one of our flashlight tutorial written in C++. And in this one, we are going to be modeling our flashlight and just getting it working and everything set up in the game. We're not going to be writing any of the code behind it, as I have not simply determined how exactly I want to go about doing this yet. So first off, let's go ahead and create a folder that we're going to hold everything in. So click Content, Add New, Folder. I'm just going to call it just simply Flashlight. Now we want to open up Blender. Not exactly sure why it opened the light switch. Anyways. Alright, so this is what the screen that you should be met up with. As before, we want to get our... I have it here. We want to export the default mannequin so we can get a reference for scale. So let's go ahead and I'll just do that again. Go over here to mannequin right now. Oh wait, yeah, it is in mannequin. Mannequin, character, mesh. And we want the skeletal mesh right here. Simply right click on it. Go to where is export. Asset actions and export. I keep forgetting that. And just save it wherever. Uh, then just simply click export. So let's go ahead and drag our mannequin into the scene. Just click and drag. Now delete this. No, don't just scale the cube down by pressing S with it being selected. That mannequin is not in there. So file, import, import FBX. Find wherever you saved it to. You'll see them right here. Now deselect the character and select all these goofy little guys and press H to hide. Then press Shift A if you deleted the cube. Go to Mesh, Cube. So I want this to scale with the grid. So click this little thing that looks like a magnet and make sure you have increment selected. Then with the cube selected, press S, scale it down to the smallest size. And I'm an idiot. Press Shift A, Cube, make a cylinder, and do the same thing. Didn't think very much on that one. So now I want to get roughly the diameter of the handle. Let's move it over to one of his hands. Scale it down pretty far. that's an okay diameter. Actually a little smaller. Alright, so now just for testing we can go ahead and then rotate and press R. Then press, well in our case it would be Y to rotate on, okay in our case it'll be X to rotate on a specific axis. So we should be pretty much flat. And to see that we can press N and it'll bring up this little menu here. And you can see the rotation for the X degree is 90. So before it was at 0. Now it's at 90. We want to take this, we want to extend the handle a little bit past where the hand, well, the end of the hand would be. Then we want to make it kind of cone out to kind of give it where, well, the bulb and lens would go. So what we can do that is press tab to go into edit mode. Down here, we want to go from vertical to edge. We want to select face. So like a big face like this that I cannot seem to grab. Just like so. Oop. So now just that front face is the only thing that is selected. You can press 1 on the number pad to get to this view, by the way. So then we can press 3, go to the side view, then press Z, as, or Z. We can see the flashlight here. So we want to extend it to where the hand is, which right here is the thumb. So we just drag it on over. Just like so. That I'll go back one. Press C again to go back. Make that a little farther. 
I'll just go a little past the thumb. That looks decent. And from here, we want to kind of cone it out. So I'm going to go to a top-down view. Press A to select all. Do Control K. That was a Control K. Control R. Yep, that's what it was. Control R. You'll see that pink line. We want it to go left to right just like so. Click it. Drag it all the way down to the very bottom here. Then we want to go back to face select. Like this face. I'm going to go ahead and press 1 to be from this angle. And scale it up a little bit like so. So S. You'll see we're met with this. And from here. Well, this looks inappropriate. We can move it outward. You can kind of see it's given that little cone shape. Now, if we wanted to, we could do another loop cut, make it go straight again. Kind of want to scale that back just a little bit. And one more up. So we're going to give it another loop cut. So Control R, left click, go all the way down again. Then we select our face and drag it out just a little bit. As you can see, we now have the shape for our flashlight. So now we want to move it back so we can set the origin of this flashlight. I want to set it to the very rear and center of the handle. What I'm going to do is press tab to go back into this mode again. We set that back to zero so it's vertical. Yeah, just get out of these views. Alright, so you can see our cursor is right here in the dead center. Let's say you accidentally click somewhere else with the right click and moved it. What you can do is press Shift S, cursor to center, and press Control Shift Alt C, and do Origin to 3D cursor. Saw so that little dot transfer from here to here. Now we can do the same thing again, Control shift alt c and press Origin, wait, Geometry to Origin. And you'll see it teleport, well, move itself right to the Origin. Now it's in the dead center of it from up top, like a vertical view. But we need to raise it up a little bit, so we press 1 on the numpad. Go ahead and zoom in. Start dragging it up. And that's just a little bit off, but it's not a big deal. I'll just go ahead and drag it down just a hair. Do this by zooming in until you see in these here. See more squares start to appear. I'll go down a couple blocks. That was way too much. Alright, control Z. Let's back to close. And then go down just one. Alright, that's close. So now I want to move this origin back down to where the cursor is, so it's right in the very bottom there. We can press Control, Shift, Alt, C again, and origin to 3D cursor, and it is now down at the bottom. Now, since we will be adding materials to this flashlight, I'm just going to go ahead and add an initial one right now. Keep in mind we're going to be doing this in the future. So you can go to the material window over here. That is not the material window. Over here, next to where you see this little, what looks like an upside down triangle. Click there. Click new. And you'll have a new material. I'm going to rename this material base. And it's set up already with it. I'm just going to rename the cylinder to flash light. I'm actually going to go ahead and file and save this since I will be coming back to this in a later tutorial once we start adding more details such as toggling ability. So we'll have a button that we use. So I'm just going to call this flashlight tutorial and save the blend file. 
Now we need to export this object. So we go to File, Export, FBX, check selected objects. It only exports selected objects. And let's export this. I'm just going to call it flashlight. That needs a dot. Yeah. Flashlight.fbx. Save it. Then go to our flashlight folder. Right click, import to game, and find our FBX, which is this right here. Import all. Ignore that. And you can see here's our material window. Well, our material that we can edit and set up. And here's our flashlight. Let's just look at it once in game. Make sure that actually looks somewhat decent. For scale. Yeah, I'd say that's okay. It'd probably be a little bit bigger so it's more pronounced, but that's not a big deal. We can always alter it later. Like I said, we will be changing it up. So, anyways, that's how we made our little model. And I will see you next time for part two.